Oxford Bar End Mirrors. You can get them from some shops for 15 quid or normal price 25 for a pair. In a box you get two sleeves. The sleeves are basically expandable metal tubes. The way they work is you have serrations on the metal, as you can see them there, which makes it weak this far. So when you screw it up, this pushes downwards, they expand and they grip on the inside of your pipe. Your handlebars on all bikes are just empty hollow tubes. Tools I need for this are a screwdriver to remove my old bar ends and that one to put this one on. Theory. You wait till you find it just right. You don't want to leave the rubber insert inside the handlebar. It's a pain in the ass to get out. If that does happen, get yourself something now like a screwdriver, heat it up with like a lighter or something, put it in there and it'll melt out. There you go, it's open now. It's pretty simple. Now, the inside of the tube, which most people never get to see, dun, 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 dun. that is the actual old insert inside there, which I'm not going to get out because I can't be asked. You don't need to anyway, it's too far in. But um, yeah, your handlebars are basically hollow tubes. If you do lose the bits and they get mixed up, the metal flange has got slits. They go into the bike. Your washers, one black on the mirror side. And your two silver ones on the handlebar side. Like a dad. Stick it in and then tighten it up. Don't worry about the angle too much on this. You use another ramming key to open that one, and then you can adjust it afterwards. Okay, job done. That is it. I mean, in theory, you don't need a load of tools. You don't need a load of crap. That is basically the mirror now set on there. You can wiggle it, you can wobble it. You've got a ball joint here, which means you can actually get a fairly good variation of angles. <sighs> Fucking ass, man, not good. If you, on oh, that side, do you see it? Pretty much the body dark. Basically, you open that one with, I think it's a three mil, I think it's a three mil hex key. Then you can adjust that one that one to loosen this one up. Every time you loosen your main one, which is the expanding metal inside, it weakens it. Oh, expensive shed. Survived three years and four hurricanes. Not bad for 20 quid. Anyhow, on a bandit riding position is normally upright, so my head's about here. Yeah, that should be okay. I was worried because in case my arm was in the way. I'm not going to notice I go for a spin, but that should be alright. Considering the original mirror would be here. I can't find the stock ones anywhere. And um, I glued it on for about, I'm not sure exactly, but somewhere between five and 10,000 miles. Just using a one pound 
Exactly. So yeah, I got Oxford Bar and Mirrors. Set up. If that wiggles too much, just tighten that one up a little bit. It's the same. I think it's a three or five mil hex key. I'm not going to bother doing that one. There is a slight difference to doing this side. Shouldn't be too bad. It's hollow inside as well. Same setup, except this needs to be able to move. You need free play. So if that's on too tight, that won't have free play. It can be a little bit dodgy. So, um, okay, lucky. I'll go for a spin later and give that a go. Twenty miles in the lovely rain, bendy roads, and it could do with a bit of a cover to get the rain off it, but it does the job. This part of it, if you have it hanging down, it looks good, but you can't see shit unless your arms are transparent. Having upright, you have to have your hand, your wrist at a weird fucking angle. So having it kind of flattish. That's the fucking job. It's not in the way. I can see pretty much what I want to see behind me, like when I'm overtaking. The only thing that's going to be a bit of an issue is, and it's only in extremely bad weather or long distance, ah, rainbow! I put on bike muffs. I mean, a bit of rain at this, it's not an issue. But I might have to make a small hole in the bike muffs so I can put this bolt through. But, um, 
yeah, it's nice having something that's just a simple job. Take out the old one, put in the new one. So, yeah, 25 quid. Of course, it was nearly 30 quid in petrol. Oh, well, job done. Oxford Bar End Mirals. Hey Meg, watch.